to enable.org presents mathematical literacy finance personal income and expenditure exercises a and b with with uh, this we're going to uh, use the handout that's included in this week's work that looks like that so it says financial mathematics week 20 personal income and expenditure you have to make summaries in your book Right, so this you can get from your textbook, definition of income, definition of expense, definition of, um, of and the difference between a need and a want, the difference between a profit and a loss. Right, so let's quickly go over this. A personal income uh, can be a salary, a wage, commission, gifts, pocket money, bursaries, loans that you receive, uh, savings, interest and inheritance. Personal expenses can include salaries, uh, living expenses like food, clothing and entertainment, accounts like water and electricity, telephones like a cell phone bill, fees, school fees or bank fees, insurance, car, household, medical aid uh, insurance, personal taxes, loan repayments and savings. Right, so those are income and expenses. So the next presentation will be about exercise A. We have to complete this table and exercise B about Malcolm's jobs, Rihanna um, uh, income, Jamila's Xbox and Mary that is a domestic worker. Right, so um, could you please pause this video and quickly do those two exercises. It will not take a long time. Right, so pause, pause, pause and here the presentation continues. Right, so exercise A, the table. Right, it has uh, income and expenditure, uh, list, description, etc. Okay, the first one, the store manager's salary is an income and it is fixed. Cell phone airtime is an expense. It is variable. It can either be of high or low priority. It's of high priority if you run a business and you need your cell phone to run your business. It's of low priority if you use your cell phone to talk to your friends. Right, then it's only a toy. Pocket money. It's an income. It depends on your family, but it can be fixed variable or occasional. So some people will get a fixed uh, pocket money, amount of pocket money. Some people get variable amounts of pocket money and other people owe only get pocket money occasionally. School fees. It's an expenditure. It is fixed and it's of high priority because education is very important and it should be valued. Money earned by a person with a fruit cart. It's an income and it's variable because his income depends on the amount that of fruit that he sells. Replacing your bicycle tires. It's an expenditure. It's occasional. It can either be of high or low priority. It's of high priority if your bicycle is your only means of transport. It is of low priority if you use your ba bicycle occasionally for fun. Buying a pair of trousers. It's an expenditure. It is occasional. It can either be of high or low income. Uh, uh, low priority. It's of high priority if you have no other trousers trousers and you need a pair for work. It is of low priority if you have several other pairs and this one is is also just nice. It looks nice to you. Right, this one is filled in overtime to earn by a nurse. That is an income but it is a variable income because it's overtime. Um, you get it only from time to time when you work overtime. Groceries or food, it's an expenditure. It's variable. It changes from month to month. It is of high priority because it is important to eat healthy and regularly. Commission earned by a shoe salesman. It's an income and it is variable because it is dependent on the amount of shoes that he sells. Transport fare. It's an expense. It is usually fixed. Um, if you take a bus and you buy a monthly bus ticket, it's of high importance because you need to get to school or to work. 
medical aid it's an expenditure it's a fixed expense it can either be of high or low priority it is of low priority if you have excellent public health care around it is unfortunately of high priority in most the majority of the country because we don't have uh, a lot of very good public health care available funeral cover it's an expenditure it's a fixed um, expense uh, it is of high priority because a lot of families have a lot of deb debt due to funerals and we don't want that on our, in our economy and in our families. Right, this is about the gentleman that sells newspapers that has three jobs. Okay, so this is job one. He sells newspapers at a robot and he receives one rand for every newspaper sold. He, sorry, it's not delivered, it's sold though. He sold the following number of newspapers. Monday, 102. Tuesday, 104. Wednesday, 97. Thursday, 102. Friday, 115. Saturday, 171. Calculate this week's income from selling newspapers. You add all the amounts together. 102 plus 104 plus 97 plus 102 plus 115 plus 171. And you get 691 papers. And because he gets one rand for every newspaper that he sells. Let's highlight that. Um, sorry, he gets one rand for every newspaper sold. He gets... 691 rand a week uh, during this week for selling newspapers. In job 3, during the evening he works as a waiter at a restaurant. He gets no basic salary wage and he gets 2% of the bills of the tables that he served. If people decide to give him a tip, he's allowed to keep it. Right. The total bills for the per night for this week was on Monday 456, Tuesday 203, Wednesday 867, Thursday 690, Friday 1156, Saturday 2719 and Sunday 1853. His total tips was this. So this is separate. Let's make it a different color. Okay, so his tips is that. Right. Calculate his income that he made this week as a waiter. So these amounts are the ones marked in yellow. So that's why I mark it again in yellow. And adding it together, it amounts to 7944 rand, 7944 rand. Now, he gets 2% of the sales. So you take the 7944 and multiply it by 2%. Remember, 2% we go 2 divided by 100. And we get 0, 0, 2. So you can multiply by 0, 0, 2 if your calculator does not have a um, percentage button. Right, so this is 158 and 88 cents, 158 and 88 cents. If you add this blue 755 of tips, his total amount is 913 rand 88 cents. Question C. Calculate Malcolm's total earnings for the week. In job 1, he got 691. That's for the newspapers. Job 2, it's 50 rand a day times 5 days. That's 250 rand. Job 3 is 913 rand 88 cents. Remember, we just calculated it. And his total earnings is 691 rand, 250 rand, 913 rand, 88 cents. And that amounts to 1,854 rand, 88 cents. Which is not, which is not a little. Well, let's quickly multiply this by 4. And this is quickly what I'm going to do. Times by 4. 
Oh, let's times it by 52. Let's say he does it week in, year in, year out. So it's 1,000. 1,854 and 88 cents times 52. For a year, he earns, I just want to get a better pen, he earns um, 96,000. I, I timed it by 52 because there's, there are 52 uh, weeks in a year. 453 rand. and 76 cents and if I divide this by 12 he gets 8,000 so then I divided the answer by 12 sorry not, not such a little bit of cowboy maths yeah but if I divide by 12 I get he gets 8,000 and 37 rand and 81 cents which is quite a decent salary but he, this poor guy is working so hard he's working during the mornings very early selling the newspapers then he sits all day at the stall earning 50 rand a day and then he still works till late at the evening in a restaurant um, it's, he will get ill some other time Right, now uh, the next question is, is it, is it practical, is it possible, what's the disadvantages of having three jobs? You have very little time for family and friends, if you manage to get family and friends. Or, if something goes wrong at work, at one of your jobs, then you have to stay, and you have to stay late, then your other jobs will suffer too. So it is really not possible to, and if you get ill, you get no income. But this guy is earning a very good living. I have a lot of respect for people like that. Right, the next question about Rihanna. She's a student who gets paid 600 Rand pocket money per month. She earns 50 rand per hour for babysitting and 80 rand per hour for driving kids to and from school. In February there are 20 school days, in other words four weeks. It takes her five hours per week to drive the kids. Uh, she spends three hours per afternoon to help them with homework. All right, so this is the table. Numbers of hours work, earnings per day, Earnings per week, earnings per month, total for the month. Right, so driving the kids is 5 hours a week times 4, and that gives you 20 hours. Babysitting, 3 uh, hours per week, 5 days a week, 4 weeks in a month, that's 60 hours. Her earnings per day for the babysitting is 150 rand. It's only three times 50. So earnings per week is 150 hours times five days per week, 750. Right, sorry, now here we start from the top again. Earnings per month is 600 rand for pocket money. Driving the kids is 20 times 20 school days, uh, 20 hours uh, per week times eight where does this 80 come from uh, let me think let me think um, 50 rand per hour 80 80 rand per hour so it's 20 hours for the month times it by 80 rand per hour it's a thousand six hundred rand that's quite good and lastly the 750 earning um, hours per week should it be times four is three thousand rand a month so the total for the month is six hundred plus a two thousand two hundred i added the six hundred plus a thousand six hundred plus three thousand is five thousand two hundred rand is her earnings per month well quite quite a good income for a student Jamila wants to buy an Xbox. It costs 3,299 Rand. She receives 500 pocket money, Rand pocket money from her parents every month and she's only able to save 45% of her pocket money. How much does she save every month? Okay, so you go 500 times 45%. You can convert 45% to 0.45 
by saying it's 45 divided by 100 which gives you this 0 0.45 and it gives you 225 rand so every month she can save 225 rand at this rate of saving how long will it uh, take before she will be able to afford an, the Xbox right so you take the uh, amount 3299 rand divided by 225 and you get 14,66 months which means in the 14th month she does not have enough yet but in the 15th month she'll uh, have enough so you go 14 times 225 in the 14th month she still only has 3150 rand which is not enough but if you go 15 times 225 3375 is more than enough money so it will take her 15 months after 15 months Jamila will have enough money um, is this answering B this is probably D apologies is this oh, C sorry sorry C is this answer in B realistic in real life motivate your answer no it's not there's a couple of reasons. One, 15 months is a year and three months. If Jamila saves um, her money in a bank account, she will earn interest. Sorry for that. Um, in 15 months, the price of the expo would have changed. And in 15 months, there will be a better product available, which might be more um, worth a little bit more. In 50 months time, Jamila will have a different, maybe a more expensive need, right? So it's not that realistic to say for 15 months, uh, it might be less because she can get a bank account with a higher interest rate um, or she would have lost interest in the Xbox. Right, Mary is a domestic worker. She lives with a disabled grandmother and her grandmother receives a monthly grant from the state of 1,090 Rand. Mary works for a different employer each day of the week from Mondays to Friday. Two of the employers pay her 170 rand a day and the rest pay her 150 rand per day. How much money does Mary s receive for a four week month? So she earns twice in a week 170 rand, three times she earns 150 rand. So that's 340, this is 340 and that is 450 and altogether that's 790 rand a week so for four weeks she earns 3160 rand a month how much income is generated by the household in total for that month so Mary earns this and the mother gets that or the grandmother and altogether that's 4250 rand do you think this is enough money to survive f uh, f to survive from per month? Uh, yes, it is. If she doesn't have children and she doesn't have to pay a lot of rent, then 4250 is enough. If she has children and her rent is high, then it is definitely not enough. So it depends on her situation. Uh, 4250 uh, if it's only for transport and for food, then, then it, she can survive um, from it. Thank you very much. Please do the rest of the exercise and then you get the answers of for it tomorrow. Thank you very much.